From the Southeastern Conference Historical Record Alabama What should be known as the gold standard was instead forged in iron Crimson For the blood that runs through the heart of Dixie no other program in the Southeastern Conference has achieved as much as the Tide from Tuscaloosa. And as the football players march across the southern lands, the Indian chiefs of the past call out to them. In the Choctaw tongue, Tuscaloosa means black warrior, and warriors they are. At the end of the quarter, the earth started to tremble. There was a distant rumble that continued to grow. Some excited fan in the stands bellowed, Hold your horses, the elephants are coming. And out stamped this Alabama varsity. When the Atlanta Journal printed these words in 1930, the Crimson Tide were named. Thereafter, they went to be crowned. This kingdom has been passed from coach to coach for decades, but it began with one. In the South, we teach that you don't study the greats, you study who the greats studied, and the great studied Bear Bryant. Born in Arkansas, Coach Bryant stood on the sidelines at Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Texas A&M, and of course, Alabama. And as a legend at three universities in the SEC, he is dwarfed by no one. Does Coach Saban approach that same greatness? Perhaps that's as futile as comparing Bo Jackson to Jim Brown. But the ghost of Paul Bryan has summoned all the victors, from Nick Saban to Gene Stallings, and his shadow looms as large as the stadium bearing his name. No story of Alabama can adequately be told without including the nemesis, and the enemy the tide hates lives just beyond their backyard. For Bama, the championship promised land is guarded by all. But there are others. On the third Saturday of every October, they play Tennessee, and the contrast of orange and crimson matches the autumn in hue as well as beauty. Their foes scratch and claw, but for now, Alabama stands alone. When they win our conference titles and go on to defeat every other team in the land, a rising tide lifts all our southern vessels, and the elephants will never forget that Dixie reigns.